Welcome back to the local vibe. River Run International Film Festival continues through this Saturday. That's right, and this year's festival includes a screening of that Academy Award winning film Midnight Cowboy. And tomorrow's screening will feature Glenn Frankel, who wrote a book about the movie just last year. I'd like to welcome Glenn Frankel joining us live now. Good morning to you, Glenn. Good morning, Padre and Christina. Nice to be here. Oh, thanks so much for being here. So Glenn is the author of Shooting Midnight Cowboy and a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. So first tell us what inspired you to write this book all these decades later? Well, you know, what I've discovered over the years is that movies are a great looking glass into our past and in many ways into our present. They tell us a lot of things. They may not even plan to do that, but nonetheless, you can learn a lot about an era. And Midnight Cowboy was made in the late 60s, a time of great unrest, both politically in America, but also culturally. And it just seemed like a turning point in many ways. Movies were becoming more adult. They were becoming a little more adventurous. They were trying to hit that, you know, 16 to 24 aged crowd that wasn't interested in the old genres. I thought it was a very rich subject to get into, and I had a great time researching it. And like you said, that was such an impactful time in just American history. But I can imagine that this film had a left an impact on the movie industry as well. What sort of conversations came about as a result of this movie? Well, it did have an enormous impact because Hollywood was also affected by these changes. They had just scrapped the old, what was called production code, which was a censorship, self-censorship system, and they'd moved to the rating system. And then that cowboy was actually rated X when it first came out. And so it had adult themes. Uh, it had young actors who really weren't very well known, with the exception of one of the stars, Dustin Hoffman, who'd just become a big star. Uh, it was an unusual mix of things. And it was about two homeless men in Times Square in New York, which was, a, you know, the kind of characters we had never seen in movies before and we never saw afterwards. But it was an enormous hit when it came out, both critically and also it did very well at the box office. And so Hollywood, looking around, of course, for ways to do movies that would attract new audiences, saw the Midnight Cowboy model. And it really did change the sensibilities of a lot of folks, both who went to movies and who made movies. And Glenn, back to your book. I mean, you turned something on the screen, you know, to pages that people can read and turn. How do you believe that your book expands on the movie's significance as a whole? Well, you know, my my books are sort of half making of the movie books, which are, you know, and there were wonderful creative people involved in Midnight Cowboy all the way through. But it also tries to reflect the era, and it goes into, for example, the changes in New York City, both the good changes, you know, the opening up of the culture, but also the ways in which New York was getting to be a very difficult place in the late 1960s with high unemployment, uh, people leaving the city. So I try to do a mix um, yeah, I'm an old, as you pointed out, I'm an old journalist. I was with the Washington Post for many years. And for me, it's very important to set the movie in its context and how the movie influenced its time and how that particular time influenced the movie. And again, this was, this was a wonderful subject for it. It really was a linchpin moment in popular cultural history. And Glenn, before you go, I have to ask you, you just pointed out that you were a journalist, so I know you had some incredible interviews where you were able to sit down and talk to some of those people. Can you kind of speak about who you talked to about this for make this book and what were some of those conversations that were had? Well, of course, the big question was, would I be able to get to John Voight, the star of the movie, and Dustin Hoffman, the other star? These guys, you know, Dustin Hoffman already was a super celebrity as of 1968, and Voight quickly became one. It was his first movie. I wanted to talk to them about each other because the two of them together in the movie were so good, and it's such a collaborative performance. It took a while, but I did get to each of them. They were very warm and generous, uh, helpful to me, but also warm and generous and talking to about each other as performers. They really understood that they were in a very, very special movie. And I think the reason we still want to watch Midnight Cowboy, and I'd urge people to go tomorrow night if they can, is to see these two homeless people form a very wary bond, two of God's loneliest men, really. And Hoffman and Voigt, I can't think of a better pair of actors, of male actors anyway, in a major movie. And so it was great fun to talk to them and well worth my time. 
Glenn, it's been really great to talk with you and congrats on your successful career. Thank you for joining us. Midnight Cowboy is screening tomorrow, as you heard him mention, at UNC School of the Arts. And you can pick up a copy of Glenn's book there. And on top of that, he'll be able to sign it for you as well. You can find out all of those details at riverrunfilm.com.